around to the right. I'll be able to pin him down like that. I'll cover you, all right? Why is it that you always cover me? Still breathing. Let's get him into town. Marie settled down, wasn't us who shot him. Get him inside the house. Quickly. Braddock. We found that whiskey hey, before they start taking what? bids on it. All right, now put that barrel back down. Everybody, get about your business. Give me that. Come on. Go back about your business. and a letter here, but I'm having trouble making out this one word. What's that say there? Incompetent. Incompetent? Well, it's sort of like, uh, useless, ain't it? Yeah. Well, now, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 that really makes sense. Yeah, this letter's for you. It's from your boss. You know, Jack, my job would be a lot easier if the American authorities would just attempt to police some of these border traffickers. Now, you just hold your horses one second, all right? Look, now you know the Canes have been getting away with this for months, and I'm just tired of taking the blame for it. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. Well, I... Excuse me, but the man is awake. You can talk to him now. I don't appreciate you opening my mail. Anna? 
Anna? Hello, Clive. Anna, it's been a long time. What are you doing here? I'm traveling to Vancouver, but I had to stop here first to say goodbye to Matt. Well, it's wonderful to have you here. <laughs> I guess I'll go question that Indian. Corporal looks a mite preoccupied, don't he? Mm-hmm. When I get these bags, my office is right there. Come on, we'll talk. You know how sorry I am about Matt. It happened over a year ago, and I still think about it. If I could have saved him, I... Clive. My husband died because he chose to wear the same uniform you do. It was what he wanted. Oh, you don't have to tell me that. I was the one who had to listen to the two of you when you were at the Academy, remember? How you were going to civilize the West. Is it civilized yet? Well, it's getting there. How long do you plan on staying? A day or two. I've made arrangements to take a teaching position in Vancouver. Well, you need a place. I think there might be a room at Miss Duffield's. It's on the American side, but uh, it's civilized. <laughs> I'll take you there. It ain't even warm. They're long gone. Good. Maybe they'll be someone else's problem. I reckon they went off this way. Maybe we can still pick up the trail. They're gone. You said so yourself. Yeah, us Americans are sure falling down on the job, ain't we? What was that? You heard me. I'm gonna see how cold this trail really is. far from here. Clive wanted him buried somewhere else. Somewhere special. Clive and you are old friends. Oh, the three of us were inseparable. Until Matt and I were married. Clive didn't even come to the wedding. He must have been hurt. It wasn't easy. But I made a decision. You're Marie Dumont, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Clive's spoken of you. Why do you think Clive hasn't married? Perhaps he hasn't found the right woman. never seen Clive quite like this before. Mounties at Fort McLeod ain't exactly pleased the canes are riding either. Bennett ain't even concerned about catching them. There may be some other things on his mind. <laughs> yeah, I know. I never figured a woman would take Clive's mind off his job. What's her story anyhow? Now, what'd you do that for? 
Mm. Evening. Jack? Why don't you grab a couple of chairs, pull them up? We got plenty of room here. No, that's OK. Ann and I have lots of things we want to catch up on. Most of my family think I live in a teepee. <laughs> really. Don't you miss the East? Sometimes. Breaking up brawls on Saturday nights is not the most taxing job in the world. Ah, uh, go front! I, I need to talk to you. Couteau. <clears throat> Couteau, I'll talk to you later. Got anything to do with breaking the law? Yeah. Maybe you ought to talk to a lawman who still takes his job seriously. Thank you for the evening, Clive. It was lovely. Clive, what's wrong? I was a younger man the last time I saw you. And having you here reminds me of all the things I have not done. It's not too late. You're still the man I remember. And it reminds me of how I felt about you. I'm sorry. No. Don't apologize. Please don't apologize. Nice of you to join us, Corporal. I trust you finished spooning. What a time being, Jack. Because uh, Couteau here has got something to tell you that just might be interesting to you. That is, if you're still concerned about them cane boys. <laughs> got something to say, Couteau? Yes, Corporal. I was traveling with some Cree who were on their way to meet the Kents to buy guns and whiskey. You know where? And when, Corporal. And I can be an Indian as easy as I can be a white man. Good. If we get there first, you could be the buyer. Mm hmm I can't make you go, Kuto. That's your choice. Look, Corporal, I have no choice. I've seen too many of my people die from whiskey and guns. We'll go first thing in the morning. This man, this couteau, he's a friend of the lawman. You'll lead them here? I told him of the weapons and the whiskey. He'll bring them. Hear that, boys? I think we just got rid of a couple of lawmen. You're forgetting my payment. Pay the gentleman, Arthur. Where are you going? After the canes. Do you have to go? <laughs> Don't worry. I won't die till I get my paycheck. And the payroll wagon's always late. What's the matter, Anna? That's what Matt used to say. That same stupid joke. 
I'm sorry. You're just like him, you know. You're too pig-headed to realize you could die. You make jokes about it. You don't think about who gets left behind. It's my duty to go. I don't know what I was thinking. It's the same thing all over. Duty and bloodshed. And then one day I'll see you in a coffin. I'm sorry, but I can't let that happen again. Please, Anna. Uh, look, we gotta go. Yeah, please, Anna. Now just wait for me. to be telling the truth, but I wouldn't hold out much hope of the Canes still being there. You know, because if they were, they'd be incompetent, now, wouldn't they? You know that Anna? She's one genteel woman, ain't she, Clive? Keep your eyes yourself, Fred. Ooh, now look here. You could be riding into a hornet's nest here, you know that? I'd appreciate it if you'd be thinking about what you're doing. Don't lecture me. I ain't. I just don't aim to die because your head's full of hearts and flowers. Don't hit! You can? Yeah. Where are the weapons? In the wagon. Where's the money? You know, I just might let you live. Why bother? Out of the trees, lawmen! Your friend is dead! Where are you going? You just stay here. No. I put Couteau up to this. Oh. It's my responsibility. And I ain't bringing the corpse back to Anna. Now you just stay put. Impatient! Drop your gun. Now get your hands up. Get over here. That's far enough. Where's your partner? I'm here alone. Where is he? I told you, he ain't here. Then he's the blessed one. <whistles> we'll get that corporal soon enough. Drop your weapons. Nice shooting, Clive. You're a dead man, Mountie. Even if I have to pay the devil to get out of hell. Look, Couteau and I'll deal with him. You get back to Bordertown. Remember what I said, Mountie? You die! My hand slipped. Mine, too. Whoa! Has the stage come through? Those boys get a Christian burial, Marshal. You remember that? Why not? They need all the help they can get. Whoa! You're desecrating him! Kato, 
Give me a hand here. Get the horses. I'm getting too old for this. I wanted to run away. I really did. The stage driver must think I'm a crazy woman, begging to get on the coach and then begging just as hard to get off. Don't ever leave again. I won't. Not until you ask me to go. That'll never happen. I want you to be with me forever. I want you to be my wife. So do I. Hey, everyone. I'd like you to meet the future Mrs. Clive Bennett. Oh. Hey, Marie. Yes? I've asked Anna to marry me. And she was foolish enough to accept. Oh, that's wonderful.